Oh, and we go. There's a bird way down over there, so I'm going to motor down there. The first places have been exposed to the sun. Another tip for fishing drains on the mud flats is, and if they want to feed, they've got to follow them. <laughs> I've got a few more snags to hit along this bank, and then I'm probably going to change my game plan. Um, I sort of had two plans in mind, decided to go with this one, hitting snags along this bank. There's other banks where there's drains on them. Um, I thought this one here might provide them with a little bit more security, um, having some structure around. But I'm not seeing, it's not just a, the notable absence of, you know, fish. It's the notable absence of smaller fish, of bait fish, just life in general, uh, which has got me a little bit worried, which tells me that it's probably not, um, it's not the place to be. There's a bird way down over there, so I'm going to motor down there and see what he's looking at. Because that indicates to me that there must be bait down there. So um, if he's feeding on them, hopefully there might be a fish feeding on them. We'll go down there and see what happens. A little bit of bait flicking down here. I'm hoping um, the fish might actually be sitting on open flats. Quite often through the winter period, they will move right up into water that's you know shallower than you'd expect them to be in. Uh, it's, it's quite often the warmest water. It's probably a little bit early in the day. This tide, you know, say in another four hours time would have been perfect, so that we've been put it after lunch. And the sun would have had more time to take effect, but we can't do anything about that today. So we've just got to keep persevering and hope that we find a fish in there. Oh, and we go. <laughs> A rat. These flats are the first places that have been exposed to the sun pretty much all day, so first places to warm up. So hopefully this is just a sign of things to come and the fish might get bigger and hungrier. I'll stick a tag in this fella. Job done. Can take a couple of photos. Photo the tag. I don't have to remember the number. It's also geo-reference, so I know where I caught him. All right, there we go. Hinchy Barra got his pink bling. Let him go back, grow a bit bigger, and we'll get him again when he's, hopefully, he's a she and very much bigger. Off he glides. Because if you look up at these drains, you can see, like this one in particular, the different angles it runs at. So as they extend out under the water, you can never be quite sure where they're actually, uh, what direction they're actually taking. So it's worth putting in a few casts, different angles, you know, a couple of meters either side, because you, sometimes you're never quite sure where that drain's gonna um, be flowing under the water. Another tip for fishing drains on the mud flats is decide why the fish will be there um, and what will keep them there. So bait's an obvious one. If you're seeing bait working, then there's a pretty good chance that you will uh, probably find some fish there. Now in winter, it could be the case where, where it's early morning and the water hasn't warmed yet and the coldest place in the whole system um, is they, are those flats around those drains. So they may not decide to move up under those drains um, until the day warms up a little bit. Uh, now that the tide's starting to push back in, it can be a really good time to chase fish on these flats. Fish that were previously being spooked or didn't want to get into that shallow water because they, they might not have liked the, the feel of such shallow water. Now know that the tide is pushing in, the bait's pushing in with it, and if they want to feed, they've got to follow them. Oh, there was, but about the same size, I think. <laughs> That's okay. We're, uh, we're finding the fish. We've just got to find bigger fish now. <laughs> it's 
guy's got a bit of spirit. We'll get him in and put a tag in him too. All right, there we go. Another rat barrel out of a drain. Go on.